Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another Resolve tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're gonna show you how to do that Ken Burns effect, that kind of zooming in on pictures and on videos. So let's get started. What we have here in our um, media box or our media pool is three pictures and a video. So let's grab one picture first. We're gonna drag it into the timeline. So what you're gonna do is click on this clip. Then you're gonna to go to the inspector and you're gonna to go to this dynamic zoom and you're gonna activate it. And from there, you're gonna to go to your drop down here and select dynamic zoom. So now we have a red box and a green box. So the green is the beginning, the red is the end. You can swap back and forth by clicking the swap button here. And let's go ahead and do something. So let's do beginning to end. So I wanna zoom in on my rear tire here, my rear wheel. So again, the green is the beginning and the red is where it's gonna end up at. Okay, and that's it pretty much. So let's go ahead and hit play and see how it looks. But before we hit play, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the tool here. So click on this button and here we go. There you go, that's it. And to make it faster, of course you drag in and make the clip shorter. So here you go. And if you need it faster than that, you drag it in smaller and push play. And of course, if you want the opposite, you make it longer, then it'll be nice and slow. There you go. So let's stop. Okay, let's do another example. We're gonna click this clip. We're gonna click on the inspector button here and you're gonna activate the dynamic zoom by clicking on this little toggle here. There's several options here, ease in, ease out, linear, but I usually just do linear. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, again, I need to see my tool, so let's go ahead and select on the tool by going in the drop down and clicking on that. And again, you can turn it on and off by clicking on the icon itself. So let's go ahead and do a little Ken Burns or dynamic zoom. As I mentioned earlier, the red is the final spot, the green is the beginning spot. So I kinda wanna swap those. I want the red to be the final spot, so let's make it zoom in a little bit here. And then the green, I want it to start from the full size picture here. So let's go ahead and have a look. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the tool off and push play. There you go. Okay, and for the last piece here, we're gonna show you how to zoom in on a piece of video, which is exactly the same. I have a piece of video here that I'm gonna actually play so you can see the original size of it. Okay, let's go ahead and play. So nothing special, it's kinda of just hovering over handheld looking at the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this dynamic zoom, AKA Ken Burns effect, AKA panning zoom, something like that. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and click on the clip. We're gonna hit the inspector button here if it's not open already. And we're gonna turn on the dynamic zoom here. Then we're gonna go over to the tool over here and make sure dynamic zoom is clicked and selected. Figure out where you want it to start and stop. I think, let's go opposite this time. Let's go small and zoom out. So let's kind of have a, so let's kind of look at the controller itself here. And then we're gonna go ahead and zoom it out, okay? Turning off the tool so you can see it. And let's go ahead and hit play. So again, it's starting zoomed in. It's gonna slowly zoom out. There you go. Okay, depending on the speed of your computer, the clip might look a little jittery. So what you wanna do is kinda of pre-render the video. So go ahead and select the clip or clips that you wanna pre-render. We're gonna go up to the clip menu here and down to the render cache color output here. This basically will pre-render the clip for you. Again, pre-rendering the clip in the timeline will actually help it, you know, play a lot smoother. And this will vary depending on the speed of your system. Okay, well that about does it for today's tutorial. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace and aloha.